Sister Betty Stapp, our phone blew up. I'm Glenn Moller, Professor of Obstetrics, Gynecology, Reproductive Health at the School of Medicine, Health Sciences and Port Moresby General Hospital. I'm 74 years old and I'm very much at risk of serious morbidity or perhaps death if I get this COVID-19 infection. And here I am in PMGH working where something like 30% of those with a cough or a fever or any other indication of a respiratory infection, we're testing all these people and 30% of them are positive. And we health workers are caring for these people because that is our job. We are decontaminating this place to our We're now approaching 2,000 positive cases and more than 20 people have died. Uh, more than half of the deaths have occurred in the last couple of weeks and we're going to see more deaths in the very near future. We should all do our very best to slow it as much as possible. Put the mask all the time, stop long way, long way, long way, long way, wash him hand, long slow him, walk about, let us see. Because if the um, number of new infections is such that uh, there are too many sick people for our health system to cope with, the health system will collapse. It will literally collapse. Possibly the health workers will all go home and then where are we? But then there is a vaccine. Now vaccines prevent illness. This vaccine has been produced um, in the best laboratories in the world. It's been tested on thousands of people and now it's being used already in millions of people without bad effects. So let's get behind this vaccine. I mean, I want it, I want it yesterday. We have an ethical responsibility to our profession, to our countrymen to keep on working. But gee, we want to protect ourselves as much as possible, which is what the vaccine is, protection. And particularly, it protects you against getting sick and dying from it.